Well, here we are. We're having a walk. We're going to go down the hill. I went up the hill first. Why is the battery light on? I hope my other batteries work. Look, you can see some soil. Isn't that something? Look at how much snow is between that soil and the road. The road usually goes over to there. <sighs> so, <clears throat> home, home on the range. Oh, there's the blue jays. They're eating the deer food I have there for them. I could probably bring the deer food part way down the hill and give it to them where they have their their crossing point. That's nice. We have that tree that broke. I should get it in there and cut it up. But my chainsaw doesn't work anymore. I rented one last time. I don't want to do that again. Now some of these twigs would be good for making something I was going to make with them. I forget what it was now. Huh. Do you remember? I had a reason I wanted to get twigs. Maybe to make one of those hanging shelf things. Hmm. I forget. See how the, the ice storm damaged all these trees? See, it killed this one entirely. But this one here, it broke all the tops off. And that is what has grown back in 10 years, so it's now got a top. But there's lots of tops that are on the ground. Let's look and see if these tops are gone. There's a lot of things broken, that huge maple. I have lots of things on the ground from them. Let's see if these have tops in them. Became there's a top there. There's another one. Let's see if we can see up in there. Oh, here's a top that's leaning right over here. There you go. See, the tree goes up and the top comes right here towards us. I can show that to you any better. No, you still can't see it. But I know it. And you can just have to believe me. It's pretty rough, that ice storm. You know what I thought about during the ice storm? I'll tell you in another one because that's a whole topic on its own. I like this area in here. It's a very pretty area. It's kind of marshy right down there at the bottom. This hairy woodpecker hillside, that's what I call that, because there's always a hairy woodpecker that's on that tree. Well, of course not always. Sometimes he's at the house. Now, my dear daughter, I wanted me to take you on a visit of the whole property. Right, I guess, I think I have to wait until spring for that. But spring it'll be very wet. Do we go for a walk together in the, um, through the woods? Did I bring you with me? I don't remember. Look, there's another ice storm tree that went down. And those. Just so you don't feel like you're the only one that lost a whole lot of trees during an ice storm. Yours probably look very fresh. No tops on anything. But ours have grown back 10 years. It didn't wreck all the small stuff. Now you see that big tree. You see how there's so many branches at the, at the tops. It goes very big trunk and then little tiny tops. Instead of just going up smoothly like this one. It's because the whole top was broken off. You can see where the top was broken off up there somewhere. Oh, and this tree that broke off. I remember that. I was going to use it for a cedar pole, but I haven't done that yet. There it is. Hey, you can see the teepee way over there in that area straight across. 
Hey, little chickadee here. Okay. We'll carry on. Carry on, carry on, carry on. See, the buds are always there. The buds are there. As soon as the leaves come off, the blood buds are there. But they don't swell up until spring. And as you can see, these have not swollen up. We better watch. Look at the stream. So it's been negative 13 today, negative 14 yesterday. Isn't that lovely? So you can see that it's been doing a little bit of melting on the edge, but not much. My chair, which was up here, got banged off by the snowplow or by the grater once. I think the grater knocked it down into the stream and it got carried away. And this snow is way too deep to go down and fetch it. One of these days I'm going to get you a rock out of there and show you all the things that live on it even in the winter. This side's always quieter. It doesn't look like as much happens on this side. Oh look, it's been freezing up. Fire trucks come here and they wash their trucks with these non non bad for the environment bubbles. Which always end up in the stream. Looks like it's frozen over there. Shall we test test it out? Okay. Need a little clump. And here we go. If it doesn't Oh, did you see that? See it's sitting down there now. I'll have to get a better clump. Boom. Frozen. You know what's in that water? All the little crayfish. They've all and the frogs, they've all dug down, and the turtles too. They've all dug down into the ground, to the soft mud at the bottom. They're hiding out. You can see how the ice term damaged all those treetops. See there, they go from being fat to being really skinny. Good old ice storm. Hey, that one never did all its branches back. This one died. Of course, I think this one's... No. Yeah. Okay, bye.